In this video, I will give you some simple tips on how to establish some short-term goals so that you can blow your long-term goals out of the water. So last week we talked about what to do before you even begin to set the goals. And if you missed that episode, you may want to go back and watch that before you finish this one. So at Fathers for All, the question is why do a video on goal setting? Isn't everyone else doing a video on goal setting? <laughs> I think you know God is always calling us to grow and improve. He's always calling us to be better, calling us to, uh, in that process of sanctification, of to, to be more what He has designed us to become. And so that's why I honestly say I'm on a journey of discovering who God has called me to become. Because five years ago, uh, God envisioned me today and five and ten years from now, God is seeing who I've become through that process. And so, at the end of my journey, I will have grown into more of what He truly sees me as. Part of goal setting, to me, is an opportunity to really become something more or achieve something more than what maybe that what God's called me to do. You know, the other thing too, just for as many people out there doing videos on goal setting and how to how to achieve your goals for 2019, there's probably 10 times more people out there that are not even bothering with with goals or resolutions or even if they are, they're given up early or maybe they just don't have the right information. And I want to be an encouragement to those of you out there that maybe are struggling and trying to figure out your goals. So one of the great benefits in setting up goals that I've uh, just recently understood and helps me out is to take, is to look forward and look back or go forward and look back. So imagine you're at uh, December of 2019 and you look back at the the year and what write down what made 2019 the best year ever and so if you go back and write those things down now you have a list of things that said that are qualified things in your life that you could say okay these these were the things that made my year great so what's goal setting and and how can I you can set some basic goals I'm going to use something that everybody's used you can find this on Wikipedia quite honestly so it's nothing new but maybe it's the first time you've heard it maybe it's something that can help you out I don't know maybe goal setting uh, it involves the development of an action plan and that's designed to motivate and guide a person towards towards a goal or towards achieving that goal. There's another way that we can kind of look at goals and it's what they call the SMART method. And having a SMART goal, so to speak, is your goal needs to be one specific. Yeah. Don't say, I just want to lose weight in 2019. Say, I want to lose 5 pounds, or I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 30 pounds in 2019. Okay, so now we know. You step on the scale, you have your weight, and then you can, you can start taking steps towards achieving that goal by the end of 2019. So, S in SMART is, is be specific with your goal. Two, is it measurable? Can you quantify or at least, you know, suggest an indicator of progress so can you see in that process with that specific goal that you're actually attaining it or, or taking steps forward to it this is a critical because then you'll be able to see little victories that will help you along the way in getting a big victory for your goal is it assignable <laughs> assignable how to do it what to do you know 
this is kind of nice because then you can specifically say, this is what needs to be done. I can assign tasks or I can, I can know that if I do these things or if I don't eat this type of stuff, that I'm actually working towards that, that goal and hitting that. Realistic. <laughs> is the goal realistic? Is it doable? This is a tough, tough part because a lot of times, especially when it comes to goal setting, I know for me, I have a tendency to become a dreamer and I start having these visions of grandeur and yeah, I can totally do that and yes, I can knock this goal out and it turns out sometimes that goal is completely unrealistic. You know, for me, launching a, some, and producing quality videos right before the holidays to be launched at the beginning of January, man, that stuff should have been done in November, you know? So it wasn't very realistic for me to have like this lofty goal of launching a bunch of videos right away. So sometimes you need to evaluate, and this is what, like what I talked about in a previous video, where you're at in your life and moving forward can I accomplish these goals or can I do little things each day that will compound and stack up to help me achieve that goal? And then finally, a time related. So the uh, SMART ends with being, is the goal time related? And obviously with a goal for 2019, we want to say an end date for this goal is maybe December 31st. And that is the, that is the deadline for my goal to be accomplished. But the important thing is maybe you need to set up some smaller, shorter goals along the way. If you have a goal to lose 50 pounds in 2019, well then maybe you need to say, well, the first thing is I want to lose uh, 10 pounds by February. And now you have an idea of breaking that down into chunks so that you're not trying to cram it all in in, in, in a short amount of time. Here's a quick side story about goal setting. There's a guy in the Bible. His name's Joseph. You've probably heard of him. Anyhow, he's had a rough go of it. He was sold into slavery, falsely accused of raping a woman, and then he goes and, and serves several years in a prison. As a, He's a prisoner, but throughout his entire time in prison, he's, he's looked upon with favor. He's doing well. And he interprets dreams for people. And one of the guys that's in there, he interprets his dream, and he says, "Remember me when you're before Pharaoh, the king, uh, the king of Egypt, you know." And the guy completely forgets about him. And here's where the story gets gets interesting. Pharaoh has this terrible dream, and he's and Joseph is remembered and brought before Pharaoh. Pharaoh says to Joseph, can you interpret this dream? And Joseph does. And it's amazing in the fact that Joseph says, hey, you're going to have seven years of plenty, of abundance of food. It's going to be amazing. But then after that, there's going to be seven years of famine. And Pharaoh looks at Joseph and says, well, who better? to manage my kingdom than you who interpreted this dream. And so immediately Joseph is now not only just interpreted a dream, but now he's got the entire nation of Egypt thrust upon his shoulders. And he's got a plan not just seven years out. He's got a plan for 14 years out so that a nation will survive a seven-year famine. And so he's got seven years to build up, to build up food and build up stores and to plan for this seven years of famine. And by doing so and having good wisdom, he knew where he was at. He knew where he wanted to be. He had a prediction of what was going to happen. And he spent seven years preparing a nation. And it turned out that in the Bible it says that all nations in the surrounding area came to Egypt because there was food in Egypt during the seven years of the famine. Joseph had to have some goals set up. He had to have 
some markers to know that he was doing well along that way so that he could his so that he could have the nation of Egypt last throughout those seven years of famine. And so that's an encouragement that God gives us wisdom and guidance and he also gives us the ability to see a goal and make those steps to achieve it. So in my next video, I want to talk about how do you get motivated to pursue your dreams? You've done the work, you've done the planning, you've got everything set up, and now <laughs> when is it time when it's time to do the hard work? How do you get going? And you know, I would love for you to join me in that. And if you would, if this video has brought any type of value to your life, I would appreciate you hitting the subscribe and like button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.